Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the 3D photo effect from the HTC One M8 onto a, another Android device. In my case, I'm going to be using the Nexus 5, but this will work with any phone that's running the newest version of the Android camera. Now you have to be running KitKat and able to use this camera, but as long as you've got that, then you'll be able to do it. So let's take a look at how it works. Now unfortunately, unlike the HTC One M8, the software isn't built into the Nexus 5. So you're gonna to have to go to this website, which I'll put a link down in the description below. And basically what it's gonna enable you to do is make parallax wallpapers or make kind of these 3D images. I'm not sure if it's coming across on video with the flowers that you see here, but they are moving ever so slightly. If I go on to what they call dramatize, and turn off blurred, then again, it's gonna give a more kind of 3D effect. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but there are other kind of some examples down the bottom here as well. But it's very easy the way that it's done. All you need to do is load the lens blur photo that you've taken using the camera application. So I'm gonna do that now. I've got my turtle here, Leonardo, and I'm gonna just take a lens blur photo with him. Now, the way that you're gonna be doing this is in the new Google camera app, you're gonna slide across from the side and you're gonna see lens blur. So you just wanna select that and it's gonna guide you through exactly what you need to do to get the desired effect. So you wanna take a picture initially and then it's gonna tell you to raise your device slowly and keep these subjects centered. So I'm just gonna do that for you now. And it is very sensitive the way that it's done. But once that's done, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, for some reason on the Nexus 5, the render takes quite some time. So we are just gonna wait for that to finish. And then once that is done, all you then need to do is go back to the web page of where we were just a second ago, which is called Depthy. Uh, now it's a bit of a strange name, but it does work very well. So what you need to then do is go into load the lens blur, and you want to go into documents. Now I've tried going straight into the camera and taking a photo from within the web page, but it only lets me take a stock photo, which is a bit of a disappointment. So once you go into documents, you then want to head over to gallery. It won't work if you do it through the photos, but I'm not sure why, it just won't let you do it. So if we go into the gallery application, Go into the camera roll and then click on the desired photo that you want. What it's going to do is going to lend, load the photo. And then once we go down here, you'll see that the picture moves around. Now, the effect is a bit janky sometimes in the sense that it... Because it takes multiple photos to get the different angles. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but you can see that there are more than one Leonardo here on this certain picture. But again, if we just go on to the different settings on the bottom here, it allows you to move the phone around yourself, which I think is the best effect. So if I just move this left to right, again, you can see a second Leonardo in the background, but it depends on the subject and it depends on what you're going to be taking a photo of. Some things work better than others. Obviously, with Leonardo, he's going to have these swords here, which are a bit harder to kind of get the desired effect from. Um, but like I say, it's very easy to use. Now, once you've done the kind of lens blur and then you've gone into depth and you've made it your own photo once you then go back into your gallery you'll see here that unfortunately it doesn't save it and it's really a disappointment that it doesn't because it's mainly used just for showing off to your friends and showing off how it works hopefully at some point someone will make an application and then you can take advantage of this using any android device and i hope that does come soon and with that i hope that they can kind of sort out some of the issues with kind of multiple images within one photo but like i say guys this is a quick look at depthy and this is a way to get the htc1 m8 3d picture effect on any android device running kitkat or above and i'm michael from copper versus glass and i'll catch you guys in the next video